Wow. Look at all that free energy. In this video, we will be discussing issues with energy production and an alternative to fossil fuels, perovskite solar cells. We will introduce the basic chemical and electronic properties of this type of photovoltaic and how these are dependent on physical properties and processing methods. In 2016, approximately 65% of United States electricity came from non-renewable fossil fuels, 20% from nuclear, and only 10% from renewables, with solar power making up slightly less than 1% of the renewable portion. Fossil fuels take millions of years to form and will eventually be depleted. Electricity generation made up 30% of total U.S. greenhouse gas emissions in 2014. The burning of fossil fuels like coal, oil, and natural gas releases massive amounts of CO2 into the atmosphere, with 1.9 billion metric tons emitted by the United States in 2015. In order to preserve our environment and our way of life, we must consider cleaner, renewable sources of energy for electricity generation that compete economically with traditional fuel sources. Solar energy is an attractive alternative to fossil fuels. The EPA lists the three main goals of solar cells being energy efficiency, economic feasibility, and environmental safety. Our sun is a virtually limitless source of energy, and the Earth receives around 120,000 watts of power more energy per hour that humans use globally per year. Most solar cells in use today are made of silicon. However, silicon cells are produced in a very expensive, energy-intensive process. Perovskite solar cells offer solutions to silicon's problems. Now we will briefly describe the structure, processing, and properties of perovskites, otherwise known as the material science paradigm. Structure describes the arrangement of atoms or molecules in a material, including its structural defects. Perovskites are of the general form ABX3. For perovskite solar cells, A is an organic cation, B is an inorganic cation, and X is a smaller halogen anion. Processing describes how a material is made, shaped, or treated. The perovskite solar cells that we will focus on are made by depositing a solution onto a glass substrate and annealing. Properties of a material describe how a material responds to stimuli. We'll be discussing the electronic and chemical properties of perovskite solar cells throughout, and how these properties contribute to the high performance of perovskite solar cells. Semiconductors such as perovskites contain atoms bonded covalently to form a crystal structure. At low energy states, electrons in these covalent bonds are confined to the bond. However, when energy is input into the crystal lattice via radiation from the sun, Electrons become excited to higher energy levels. The amount of energy required to excite an electron from the lattice is the band gap, which is a crucial aspect of solar cells and will be discussed momentarily. Excited electrons, also known as negative charge carriers, break free of the covalent bond, leaving holes or positive charge carriers. These light generated charges can then be used to carry electric current. Perovskite solar cells are processed by doping the perovskite layer with p-type and n-type semiconductors, which are necessary for collection of electricity. The n-type semiconductor attracts excited electrons and assists in the flow of these to electrical contacts where they are converted to electrical work. The p-type semiconductor attracts positively charged holes. It is crucial that the p- and n-type dopant strongly attract holes in electrons, respectively, so that the carriers are not able to recombine. Carrier recombination leads to a loss of an excited electron that can be converted to electricity and therefore a loss of overall efficiency. The perovskite methyl ammonium lead iodide is often used in solar cells due to its high power conversion efficiency. These perovskite cells have many of the desired properties of photovoltaic absorbers. This includes high optical absorbance, high electron mobility, superior structural defect tolerance, and low surface recombination velocity and grain boundary effects. Overall, because of its structure, methyl ammonium lead iodide solar cells offer many benefits over other solar materials in terms of both electronic and optical properties, which will now be addressed in greater detail. Perovskites offer enhanced electrical and optical properties compared to other known solar materials. Due to the variety of possible perovskites and processing methods now being discovered, the band gap of perovskites can be tuned to different wavelengths. This means that the solar cell will optimally absorb different wavelengths of light, depending on the material composition, allowing for specialized use and development. Perovskites are ambipolar, which means that electrons can flow in either direction. 
This is a significant advantage over other solar materials, which do not have the same property, and allows for easier manufacturing of solar cells. Over the past 10 years, perovskite solar cell efficiency has increased at an unprecedented rate. From only 3.8% at its discovery to 22% now, these improvements are due in part to improved processing of the material. For example, the processing of grain boundaries has a large impact on solar cell photovoltaic performance and radiative lifetime. Using processing methods to increase grain size leads to an increase in both properties. Solution growth, where material is crystallized onto a surface by evaporating solvent from a precursor solution, is another method by which manufacturers can alter perovskite properties. Crystal orientation also has an effect on the photovoltaic properties of the cell and can be altered by processing techniques. Currently, perovskite materials have not achieved their theoretical open circuit voltages, measures of the potential generated. This suggests that there are still many improvements and discoveries to be made that will further improve the efficiency of perovskite materials. Despite their high performance, there are currently several difficulties facing the implementation of perovskite solar cells as a viable source of energy. Most high-performing perovskite solar cells, those with efficiencies of about 15% or more, contain lead. Some contain tin or another metal, but these do not perform as well. Perovskite solar cells are only a few hundred nanometers thick, and less than a third of this is lead, but the EPA defines the maximum amount of lead in soil as 400 parts per million. There have been few studies on the amount of lead that could possibly be leached into the environment from lead-based perovskites, but it is not known if this amount exceeds the 400 part per million limit set by the EPA. Marketing a power source that contains a commonly known neurotoxin may be difficult. In addition, perovskites are somewhat unstable. When exposed to ambient conditions, particularly humidity, perovskites degrade to different crystalline phases or to form different chemical structures. Methyl ammonium lead iodide becomes hydrated when exposed to moderate humidity levels. This causes subsequent breakdown of the crystalline structure which is responsible for the generation of excited electrons. With the growing problem of global warming, finding sources of renewable energy is becoming increasingly important. One source of renewable energy is solar energy, however current solar technology is extremely expensive and inefficient. The full potential of perovskite solar cells has yet to be reached because the technology is very new, but they show great promise for the future of solar energy. Continued funding and research is needed in order for perovskite solar cells to become widely used, but this would be a worthwhile investment of time and resources in order to establish an efficient source of renewable energy.